Aquarius. Welcome, 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 loves. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so. Let's see what we have for January. All right, I went ahead and did you guys' this readings first because I did not do you guys' December readings. I kind of had got behind. I had personal readings and, you know, just some personal things going on with me. And I kind of got behind. So I'm going to go ahead and do January. I'm excited for January. Um, and it's you guys. It's going to be you guys' birthday month around that time. Let's see. Let's see what's coming towards you guys for my Aquarius. Aquarius, all right? Sun, moon, and rising. What overall message is there for Aquarius? What message is there for Aquarius? All right, we got one of them. What other message is there for Aquarius? These are general messages. They won't resonate with every single Aquarius. If they resonate, great. If they don't, check your moon and your rising. The energies can go vice versa as well, okay? Aquarius, for the month of January, going into 2020, what message is there for Aquarius from now through January 2020? What message is there for Aquarius? All right, all right. Aquarius, at the bottom of the deck, I, def I see most definitely you guys possibly have been going through a struggle here. We got obstacles and challenges, okay? I see that things may have been on hold, okay? You want some positive movement board. So let's see what is, let's see what we have here. We have quite a few cards, okay? So... Ooh, the first card we have is New Beginnings. Okay, so this is better known as the Fool card in the traditional tarot, but nonetheless, New Beginnings. Okay, so a new start, a leap of faith, jumping into something new. Okay, it could be in regards to love. Okay, this could be matters of the heart. Okay, maybe you want something new. Maybe you want um, a new feeling from someone or, or some type of... Um, relationship that you have maybe you want something new you want something fresh okay i do sense that there is a coming together there is a reuniting okay there could be three people involved here we got alliances and we have the number three here so this is about the three of cups okay so this is about reuniting reconnecting okay obviously possibly could be someone returning from the past as well okay but i'm feeling like you guys someone could be returning from the past wanting a new start or you possibly want someone to reunite with someone could be a sagittarius here or a water sign pisces cancer scorpio or a sagittarius or aries but then we have patience here all right so this is the temperance card so also known as the card for Sagittarius. But there is a need to try to find some balance, okay? Maybe there's something that you need to heal from. Maybe you're trying to heal, okay? Maybe someone's coming in trying to heal something from the past, okay? But I'm most definitely sensing a new beginning. Someone wants a new start. Someone wants someone to take a risk. It is in matters of the heart, okay? Heart chakra is I love, I love, okay? So, this could most definitely be in matters of the heart. I'm definitely sensing someone wants a new start in love, okay? So I'm sensing like someone wants to come back and try to heal something. Somebody wants to come back to try to balance something out. I feel like you want to see some positive movement forward, okay? You possibly have been waiting. This person possibly has been, you know, giving you problems. Giving you all types of problems. And I feel like you're waiting for some positive movement forward from this person. Someone wants a new start, okay? Someone wants to come back for some areas, Aquarius. Ooh, all right. Two of Pentacles. So you could be juggling. I'm getting juggling two people here. We got the Queen of Wands. This is kind of like my other person card, okay? 
You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but you could be keeping busy, okay? Or you guys could be juggling, okay? You might be juggling two people. All right, let's see. What's the challenge? All right, I feel like you guys got somebody on hold, okay? I feel like you guys have someone on hold, okay? You're waiting for them to communicate with you, okay? Yeah, you're waiting for them to communicate with you, waiting to see what someone has to say. Could be dealing with the Pisces. We got that page of cups and we got that hangman here, but most definitely, I feel like you're waiting for somebody to reach out. All right, so why is this happening? Why is this, what, what's going on? Why is this happening? There he is. All right, it seems like you're waiting on a call from someone. You're waiting for someone to reach out. Because you've been busy. You've been juggling. You've been keeping busy. You've been possibly been busy at work. Possibly have been juggling a few people. So you've been keeping busy. So you're like, you know what? I'm waiting for you to call me. I'm waiting on you to reach out to me. What is this? What is this? Okay, the high priestess, Pisces is energy, all right? But your intuition is telling you to reach out to them or they're going to reach out to you. I feel like you guys possibly have quite a few options, okay? I feel like you guys got a few options. Empress, okay? Past energy. Ooh, there could have been three people involved. We got the Empress and the Three of Cups here. Okay, and the three of wands right after that. So three, three, okay. Um, you could be seeing the number three. Or someone could be with child pregnant. You could have found out that you were pregnant or someone in the circle was pregnant. Or some of you were dealing, um, ooh, could have been cancer involved. Or a mother. A mother could be... Um, somewhat play a part in this in this story okay Ooh. all right so we got the strength card all right so you could be trying to you know trying to stay strong or trying to resist reaching out to this person i feel like you guys are trying to make this person wait. you putting this person on ice okay because you feel like i know they're gonna come back i know they're gonna be back around i ain't worried about them they'll be back future energy Future energy. Two of swords, okay? Two of swords. So you got the two of pentacles and the two of swords. Two, two, two. I mean, some of you guys may be seeing the number two, 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 okay? Um, two of swords, there's a decision that needs to be made, okay? Someone could be feeling like someone is scared to, to fight or stuck in their head about something. You could be stuck in your head battle a battle inside your head okay why is the two of swords here king of wands leo sagittarius aries this energy there could be a male fire sign involved or someone carrying this energy but you guys' energy is right here at the bottom okay so some of you guys could be dealing with a um Gemini as well, but I'm picking up on you guys can't make up your mind on who you want. Why is the high priestess here? High priestess. Yeah, seven of swords. So your intuition could be telling you that something sneaky is going on or this person isn't being honest. They aren't telling the truth. You can feel like they're trying to, you know, talk you into something or trying to be slick. Okay. I feel like you feel like, nah, not, not today. Not with me. Two of Pentacles. Why is Two of Pentacles here? There could be a Leo involved too with that strength card up there. Why is the two of pentacles here? All right, seven of wands and the death card. Okay, so you don't want to keep feeling like you got to argue or keep your guard up, okay? 
could be dealing with a father, a baby father. Well, you got them on hold. Why is the strength card here? You guys might have two different. Um, don't you might you guys might have a few options as well, but some of you guys feel like this person isn't taking any action or you aren't taking any action toward this person going ahead. Why is the strength card here? Yep. Queen of Swords, you guys, it's energy. The devil, okay, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the devil, ooh, someone thinks negative all the time, okay, or someone is kind of like obsessive or kind of like, you know, kind of loony a little bit. I feel like you're resisting, you're holding back, you're putting them on ice because your intuition is telling you that they aren't honest, they aren't telling the truth, they lying about something. Be deciding, you know, I'm not going to take any action towards this situation. Or you, you have a decision that you need to make. You got a decision that you need to make. Maybe you're juggling two people. Yeah, you feel like this person isn't telling you the truth, okay? Let's see why this King of Wands here is here. like you've been juggling a lot you've been doing a lot it hasn't been easy for you okay so you put something on hold maybe you've been holding back snapping on somebody or <laughs> you've been holding back saying speaking your truth to this person <clears throat> but i feel like you really got some words that you want to say to this person king of wands king of wands why is the king of wands here for aquarius The star card, you guys' is energy. <clears throat> okay. I feel like someone here wants a second chance. We got the judgment and the will of fortune and the tempers. I feel like someone wants to run back and ask for another chance. But I feel like you, you might be feeling like, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. Why is the hangman here? Yeah, you're putting this relationship on hold, okay? I can definitely see, like, it's on hold. It's dangling in the air right now. It's like, I don't really know what's going on with, with this right now. I'm not even really sure. Give me a message for Aquarius, please. Give me a message for Aquarius. Ooh. All right, so... We have passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. Okay. Okay, so right now, it's time to focus on your passion and your purpose, okay? What are you good at? What do you want to do? What's making you a better person? Because obviously, it's not this person, okay? You feel like this person is coming with some lies and being sneaky and, you know, Things are kind of just in the air. It's time to focus on what it is that you want, and that's going to be beneficial for you. All right, so let's pull one more. Let's see. Is there another message that you have for Aquarius from now until January? Oh, okay. We have revealing your true self, okay? And the crystal that we have for this is amethyst, okay? Amethyst is my favorite crystal, most definitely. Okay, so... Spirit is saying, revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel love for who you truly are. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up this time for you guys to really zoom in on yourself and really zoom in on your passion, what you're passionate about and your purpose. Because, like I said, whatever this is, this this little thing that's going on here, I feel like it's a few too many people involved. I feel like if you redirect that energy to someone else, read put your energy somewhere else, okay? Put your energy somewhere else. Okay, let me get one more card for you guys. Give me one more card for Aquarius, please. We have Diamond. Value your self-worth. You are God's precious gem. 
And I also have at the bottom of this deck, answered prayers, okay? All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So you are already, your prayers are already going to be answered. Your prayers are already answered, okay? It is definitely time. You are already being supported by the divine. It is definitely time to focus and zoom in on you guys' purpose, okay? 2020 is you guys' year, all right? So you need to be focused on your purpose, okay? Whatever this is, it's draining, is I can sense that you guys are busy. Like you're putting in a lot of work, okay? I'm picking up another thing, another message. Socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. All right? So it's time to mingle with new people. It's time to get some new friends. It's time to be around some new fresh energy. It's time for new, 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 new. Okay, new energy. Whatever this old stagnant energy is, leave this shit in 2019, okay? All right, my loves. Hope this message was helpful for you. And until next time, ciao for now.